So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to embroider a nose. And this represents a snout of a fox. And I wanna put a plain horizontal black nose right in the center. And I haven't put any stuffing in here yet. And that's on purpose. The best time to embroider is actually when there's no stuffing. Otherwise, when you put the needle through, it might catch on some stuffing and then you'll have all these white pieces of fuzz kind of sewn into your piece. I am a perfectionist though, and I like to be able to see how my details look on the completely finished animal. So a lot of times I actually do embroider after the fact, but if you're gonna go with best practices, you should do it now before you put stuffing in there. So to start with, this is the outside of the snout. So I'm gonna turn my piece around to the back side, and I'm gonna stick my needle in from the back to the front. And I want to make a nose that spans this horizontal part. So I'm gonna put the needle not through the middle point, but through a point that's a little off to the side. And I'm gonna leave about a six inch yarn tail so that I have definitely enough yarn to create a knot later on. That's how we're gonna secure the yarn tails. Then I'm gonna put my needle on the opposite side of the snout and I wanna make it about equidistant from the center of the snout. And then I'm gonna put the needle back in the same hole that it was coming out of. Pull it tight, but not too tight that you move the yarn tail. And then repeat this as many times as you like to get the desired look. So I usually like to do it at least three times since as you can see from here right now, I've only done it twice and then there's this gap in between the two pieces of yarn. So I'll do it as many times as I think I need to, to make a full looking nose. Okay, I've done it enough times that the nose looks nice and solid now. And so I'm going to put my needle back into the hole that it just came out of since I know that's the last stitch, horizontal stitch that I want. And so now both yarn tails should be coming out of the same spot or either ends, that's totally fine too. Then we're gonna tie a knot and tie it nice and tight so that the yarn won't move. And if you wanna be extra secure, you can tie one more knot in there. Then, if you have a piece like mine that does have some 3D volume, you can either choose to leave the yarn tails in there and use it to stuff it, or you can just cut your yarn tails. But I wouldn't cut it super close because you want to make sure that that knot stays in there. I'd leave at least an inch or two inches, if possible, leeway. And there you have it, an embroidered nose.